very close to Todd's wife. Okay, Carrie, yes. Uh-huh, we've done Carrie. a lot of business together. Right. Mm-hmm. And what happened was I made a business decision to list my home with the Altmans, with Josh and Matt. Okay. And it was actually, uh, it was something that, it's, it's interesting because I didn't, I, it wasn't something that I had really premeditated or thought mm-hmm. about. It was, I ca- called him up. I said, Matt, could you have a buyer for my, ho- my Hollywood Hills house? Mm-hmm. He said, nope. I, I, it's, there's a lot of inventory, blah, 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 but I've got a buyer for your mm-hmm. Sherman Oaks house. Mm-hmm. I had it on as a pocket listing. So I didn't expect to formally list it where it would become public. I see. But what happened was is that I felt like we really should probably expose this to as many people as possible. It, and we had someone interested. It also would put pressure on that person that was interested in the house. Yes. Okay. So by d- this all ended up being the right decision for me because th- by doing that, mm-hmm. the house, we had an accepted offer within five days. Mm-hmm. We now have a backup offer. Mm-hmm. So it's... It, 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 it was it was the right professional business, business. Uh-huh. financial mm-hmm. decision for me. Okay. Okay. Now I I um, I understand my sister in law who is she's probably had eighty percent of my business. Mm-hmm. That uh, was hurtful to her. She felt mm-hmm. like I went behind her back. She felt like I didn't communicate. Mm-hmm. I really tried to explain that literally all this happened like in seven days. Right. And you know. Maybe I, and I apologize for not giving her heads up, but right now she's upset with me. Mm -hmm. She feels betrayed. Mm -hmm. Understandably so. Mm -hmm. But for me, and I, and I tried to explain this is that, look, if I was flipping full time, like I used to, Mm -hmm. I would be working with several different brokers. You have been very fortunate in that over the last several years, you've had the majority of my business. You'd had the majority of the pie, but I'm not obligated to list my home with you. And by the way, she had the she has the other listing. Okay, let me ask you a question. Did you ask Carrie? Did did you ask her to list this at all? Well, I had said to her on several occasions Mm -hmm. that I would be interested in selling. Okay, so what happened was, is uh, she would check in with me, and I'd say, "Well, I don't want to sell it till after the guest house is finished." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then Matt Altman said to me, "No, "No, we'll put two prices on it: one with plans and permits for the guest house. Yes, another price." You'll do it for them. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. Okay. You have, to, you have to own 100% of responsibility, right? I see part of the problem in communication. Well, something did. I did say something. Uh-huh. I did say one thing. What, what's the one thing you said? Well, as I was explaining all of this, mm-hmm. um, which I didn't appreciate, mm-hmm. um, it, she said to me, I'm, uh, you know, I... How do I say this? She just started talking about the pressure she has at home with the kids and mm-hmm. homeschooling and all of that. Mm-hmm. And at that point, I was like, I don't give a shit about what's happening at home. This is my business. This is my money. This is my finances. Like, this mm-hmm. is a financial decision. Mm-hmm. Then she said, I'm really hurt mm-hmm. that you just said that to me. Mm-hmm. And I said, as your brother in law, I sympathize and empathize with your situation. But as a businessman, Mm -hmm. this is a decision I need to make for my business. So it's two separate things in my mind. Two days after that fight, right? And Mm -hmm. it was the 33 minute got heated conversation. Mm -hmm. She initially canceled coming to Monroe's birthday because we had just a family, Mm -hmm. 14 people, Mm -hmm. whatever, Mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. Um, She initially canceled. Yes. And then, and I, which I expected mm-hmm. that morning, Saturday morning, she called and she said, is there a possibility that, that I could still come to the party? Good. And I said, absolutely. You're always welcome. Okay. I thought that was a really, really cool like thing to do mm-hmm. because, uh, she didn't let what was happening between us yes. affect Monroe's birthday. Mm-hmm. And she showed up for my daughter and that like, that was, I think that was a really, really classy mm-hmm. thing to do. And she, you know, she's aware of the the financial situation. I'm two I'm holding two very expensive houses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh the other one is not moving mm-hmm. and there's a lien hanging over the house mm-hmm. uh which I don't want to pay that mm-hmm. lien mm-hmm. because in a way for to me it's legalized extortion mm-hmm. and I don't want to give in to that. 